A couple from New Jersey who were both vaccinated with Johnson & Johnson's shot have tested positive for COVID-19. Laura Eugene and her husband Francisco received the vaccine on March 6th at the Javits Center in New York. Then one month later, he was diagnosed with COVID-19 and this morning he's in an ICU unit in critical condition. His wife, Laura, joining us this morning. Laura, good to have you with us. Our heart just simply going out to you and to your husband. Bring us up to date of, of how all this happened. Um, good morning. Um, my husband uh, contracted COVID. Um, um, he was tested positive April 1st, and he just started getting very sick. Um, on the 31st, he was sick. That's why he was, uh, you know, tested. And on uh, the 1st, the 2nd, all the way till, like, the 7th, he what was really sick. What kind of symptoms, sick. Laura? Huh? What kind of symptoms did he have? Uh, he had um, a cold, a fever, uh, chills, could not walk, um, very weak, sleeping. Uh, so he went to the emergency room. And they said that they gave him IV. They sent him home. They said he's fully vaccinated. So just, you know, drink a lot of fluids and stuff. And the next day he got worse and he wind up in critical care. Oh, my goodness. Now, he's still in the ICU. Any signs that he's getting better, Laura? Not yet. I talked to the doctors and nurse. They said he's still the same. They try to take him off the BiPAP, but every time his oxygen goes down, so they can't take him off. What are they saying to you? How did this happen? Do you think that your husband had COVID-19 when he got the vaccine? What, what kind of explanation are they giving you? Uh, they don't think that, that he had it when he got the vaccine. I mean, he got the vaccine so long ago, and he just, you know, started getting symptoms of COVID in, in April. You know, that, that's 30, you know, a month away almost. Um, the thing is that, uh, you know, he, he contracted the COVID and, uh, you know, we was expecting that the vaccine, you know, would, would not leave him in, in mm. such a critical condition. Right, that's what we hear. In the meantime, it's like so many family members also tested positive, right? Yes, we all tested positive. Um, me, my son, my grandchildren. Um, so me and my son and my, my husband did the um, the J and J vaccine. Uh, we both had to go to the hospital. Me and my son to get um, monoclonal antibodies to help us out because we were getting very sick as well. Uh, in the meantime, the New Jersey Health Commissioner Judy uh, Persicelli has said that the efficacy could be close to 100%, but there's also a percentage of cases where they either contracted COVID-19 before they got vaccinated or were exposed afterwards and will fall ill. That's a little comfort. Um, well, I don't understand that, um, you know, how a person would contract it while they got vaccinated on the 6th and start having symptoms and a month later almost. So what do you want people to know out there? What are, what are your frustrations right now? Uh, I just feel that, um, you know, when you take a vaccine, you know that you can still get COVID. You still got to, you know, do your measures and stuff. But to know that you're taking a vaccine and, you're, and you can still be critical is another thing. It's really not good to know that you can get that sick and maybe lose your life and you're fully vaccinated. Right. Does your does your husband have any underlying conditions? He's uh, they, a diabetic. I'm sorry. He's a diabetic. Diabetic. And you're not allowed to go to the hospital and see him in person, correct? No, I, I can't see him. I, I FaceTime or I call the hospital multiple times a day to see how he's doing and the numbers on the machine. And Can he speak like at all that. to you right now? Is he, he that? He could say hello and um, and then, you know, I have to let him go because the machine starts going crazy. Mm. Laura, do you think the, the vaccine saved your life? Because you t you took the vaccine around the same time he did, right? Yeah, I, I think I believe that uh, I, I'm not sure if it saved my life. I'm hoping it did. Um, but uh, I believe that the monoclonal antibodies that they injected in me, uh, the infusion and also in my son, had played a very big part in, in us not getting that severe. 
Well, please give our best for your, to your husband from us and let him know that we're praying for his a speedy recovery. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're here if you need anything, Laura. Thank you so much. Thank you. Be well. You. Prayers going out to you. Thank you.